Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here with Misha Tate, who will be fighting Marluce Conan for the Strike Force title in just a couple of weeks. We want to know how you're feeling. Obviously, you've gone to a new camp. Let's talk about how that camp is changing your game. Uh, I've been at, at uh, Ultimate Fitness with Team Alpha Male for a little over a year now, and they've just helped me. I mean, they're a bunch of really good wrestlers, so you know that strengthens my strength there. Um, their striking coach is world class, so that's helped my striking a lot. And they just have all the best coaches and training partners that are right there at my fingertips. So it's just a matter of utilizing it, and I'm definitely I spend a lot of time at the gym doing so. <laughs> yeah, well, I read your tweets where you're talking about constantly getting up early and going there and working with the guys. Um, the thing is that yes, Marlouz is a great striker and so that's something that really is going to have to be uh, worked on for you and she's got that reach advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you know she is. She's an, an amazing athlete really to be honest. A really great fighter. I have nothing but respect for her in that area, you know. So I can't expect that she's not going to come the best Marlous that we've ever seen and I have to be ready to battle with her toe to toe, you know, or wherever the fight may go for five, five minute rounds and that's what I'm training for, you know, and the guys are not taking it easy on me and you know, I'm always <laughs> bruised and banged up and they're throwing me around and but I totally appreciate it because that's what I need. And, you know, I, I've said it once before, I'm coming for blood, you know what I mean? I'm going to try to rip her head off. So <laughs> I really am, and I'm going to try to kill her. Like, I want the referee to stop it in fear of her life. Right. You know, that's my goal. I don't care how I win, just want to kick her ass. I like that. That's feisty. Do you see any weaknesses in her game? Yeah, I see a lot of weaknesses, you know, I think she's definitely, she doesn't have a natural scrambling ability that you get coming from a wrestling background, so I feel like any position on the ground or even any anywhere that I'm going to get a hold of her, I'm going to have the advantage because I have a natural sense of, you know, of my body and her body and where it's going to go if I move this way, and I feel like I just have that scrambling advantage of her, and I think I'm going to be stronger and healthier at 135. Is there any sense of urgency in, in the desire to put on a great show? I know you're always feisty and you do always fight hard but with the idea that maybe ladies MMA is not going to be as around as long now that the, the purchase has gone through and that you know Dana has said he's not as much into women's MMA so how does that play out in your mind going into this fight uh, it's definitely something I've thought about and it's uh you know, I never take things as pressure. I take them as motivation. So it's not stressful for me, but it's an added motive for me to want to go out there and be the absolute best fighter that I can be and showcase that. And for Marlouz as well, you know, I'm really hoping that she brings it because if I just go out there and, you know, annihilate her, it doesn't say as much for women's MMA overall as it would if we went out there and put on a fantastic skilled fight of back and forth, trading, you know, grappling, getting back up, you know, going for submissions, losing the submission, you know, I really want that. I want an amazing fight so that they say, wow, these girls are phenomenal. You know, they're just as good as the guys. And I think what's great about this fight, too, is that, you know, all kidding aside, that's two very lovely ladies in there, too. And I think there's a lot of appeal to the fans in this one for you, both inside and outside of the cage. And I think that it's okay to embrace that. I think it's okay to, to play to that strength, too, don't you think? Absolutely. You know, I, I feel like, you know, to each his own, like, if you want to embrace that, that's great. More power to you. And if not, then that's cool, too. You know, just got to be you. And this is me. You know, I am a woman. I'm proud to be a woman. I'm proud to embrace my femininity. And, uh, you know, but at the same time, I definitely wouldn't say you want to judge a book by its cover because like I said you know what I mean I'm going to come there and try to tear her face off so <laughs> very nice and we should say we're here at UFC 132 right now I, I I gotta believe you're pulling for Uriah tonight oh absolutely yeah I mean hands down I really think he's gonna go out there and just do it again I, I think he's kind of got under Dominic's skin and um, you know what I mean he's just an incredible person always training so hard and I just really feel like he he deserves it great well good luck to you in a couple of weeks Misha it's always great to see you thanks